Hi, I'm Florence Ferrialt, and I wanted to speak to you today about an evolution in the history of dolls. It was midway through the century. Times were changing. New materials were in, being introduced. New fashion styles were coming along. New methodology and technology and how things could be accomplished. Oh, this wasn't recently. This was about 1850. It was the middle of the 1800s in France when the fashion dolls were being introduced and showing dolls that could be done. And the fashion dolls were being introduced um, with that represented lady dolls. These were entirely new concepts. The most exciting things about them, the emphasis was on the body. The emphasis was on making bodies that could be articulated, could be, could be twist and turn bodies, could have be made of different materials um, with modes of allowing great articulation. The concept of the fashion dolls of France of the 1850s was always about the bodies and the costumes. It was all about the costumes. Fast forward then a hundred years and come back to America where we see a new fashion doll, a new movement evolving. The very same concepts hold true. There's, new in, there's interest in fashion, there's interest in body style. This was in its most signature trademark doll was the Barbie and has continued to be. Notice that when the Barbie first came out for the first eight years of Barbie's existence, the same facial model was made, but not the same bodies. Very different bodies were introduced. It was always about the body and how the body could be enhanced to show the costumes because when you came down to it, with the Barbies, as well as with the French fashions 100 years earlier, it was always about the clothes. So I'm pleased to introduce to you uh, Barbies that we have coming up from an auction that we call the Golden Years, and this is a 1958 through 1963, the 15 Golden Years of Barbies and their costumes and how they evolved. I have three examples here on the front that would be very, very beautiful to show. Um, we have the very wonderful number two Barbie, the num number two Barbie that was ever presented. And uh, this doll has, I'm going to turn it so you can see her original upswept hairstyle ponytail, a variation of the ponytail style. And she's wearing her completely original costume because she comes with her original stand and her booklet and her box, which has the very dis distinctive um, pink box with the silhouette Barbie on it, indicating the dress doll model number two, issue number two. Then in the front, we have the beautiful blonde American Girl Barbie, which appears on the cover of our catalog because we felt her costume was so absolutely, absolutely stunning. And next to her, we have <coughs> the wonderful uh, Stacy, who is wearing a very rare costume, a Sears exclusive called Night Lightning. I mention these things like Sears exclusive and very rare costumes, once, you, once again going back and emphasizing with the Barbies throughout its period, it was always about the costumes. Stores would buy to get Mattel to make exclusive costumes that only they could offer. And this was the same thing that held true back with the French fashion doll 100 years earlier. Stores would have exclusive costumes made for them by very famous couturiers, and no one else could be selling them. So here we have three wonderful examples of Barbies um, in vibrant, wonderful costumes. The wonderful collection of Barbies that we're showing include over three, almost 350 items of dolls and hundreds of really rare early costumes. But I wanted to show you in this uh, video today some examples of early Barbies and so you could see their condition and how wonderful um, they are preserved. We have here a number one Barbie with the very classic V-shaped eyebrows. And you notice that her arms and body are a slightly different color. This was a, a signature a mark of some of the early Barbies when the plastic was being perfected for what would retain its color perfectly. So this is a wonderful all original Barbie. And I wanna show you that tucked inside here, we have a little case in which is preserved the original shoes, 
the original sunglasses, and the loop gold earrings, which mercifully have been taken out of her ears and preserved them in wonderful original condition. So here is a wonderful number one Barbie in her original box with a very classic number one box style showing the rare costumes on the front and on the side. And while we're now um, sticking with the early ponytail Barbies, I do want to show you this very, very rare exception. Um, this is in a doll, a box with the dressed doll label on the bottom. Very, very rare to find. And along with the doll, we have her original stand. And we have her hair in the rare upswept ponytail. This is totally original. Very, very rare to find. She's wearing her original early costume. We then can um, move on and show you another um, Barbie um, in a dressed, but this is the first of the dressed box sets. And this one is called the resort set. And she's dressed to go, I guess, to Florida for the summer vacation. Um, or winter vacation, rather. She has her wonderful original costume, and she has her extra accessories, her little clogs, and her blue sunglasses. Very, very rare example. And she has, as you can see, um, the blonde ponytail. Very, very nice. And the resort set is um, a number one Barbie. Once again, look at the V-shaped eyebrows. Beautiful coloring maintained of her nails and her lips. Collectors more and more, it was for a long time that collectors, was, it was like a checkbox. I want a number one, a number two, a number three, I want this costume, that. And I'm so happy to see that the sophistication of collecting in Barbie has now come to the point where people are looking for little special things that really are important to them, like beautiful, um, beautiful nails, beautiful lip coloring, sometimes just nice painting of the face. I've really heard, had a lot of collectors say, They'll look at a, bar, a doll, and it's a rare model, when they want, and they say, oh, I love that face. It is absolutely gorgeous the way it was painted. And another one they might not feel that way about. I'm happy to say the ones I'm showing you, I think all have beautiful, beautiful facial painting. Here is another Barbie in a dressed doll box. And once again, you can see the box says dressed doll on it. These are very rare to find, absolute treasures when you can find them. And here is... Um, the very famous um, nurse wearing the registered nurse costume from the early 900 series of Barbie. And this is a number three ponytail Barbie. It's so remarkable to me to be able to, when people can say number one, number two, number three, four, and five, we're only talking about like a three year period. This is such a short period of time that these dolls were being made. And for us to have this research available to us to distinguish um, the various dolls is so really, really important. And if, I don't know, if we had waited another 50 years to start to research them, we might not have had the availability to know this. So kudos to all of the early Barbie researchers. Uh, Barbie always was wanting to be on the cutting edge of fashion or style. So whereas for the first eight years of her existence, the face did not change, look what did change, the hairstyle. And here we have Barbie with her bubble cut hairstyle. And she is in her original box and with a new change of bathing suit. And with her original stand and tucked behind her, which is how they always came from the factory, the original booklets that would have the little shoes inside. So to always keep them off Barbie's feet until she was ready to hit the ground rolling. I'll just show you the front of the box as well. Now, bubble cut came in lots of variations of hair color, some variations of the style itself, and then there would always variations, for example, a different swimsuit appeared after a while, and sometimes our bubble cut Barbie would have slightly colored lips. Here are white lips with a little blue tinge that perfectly matches the eyeshadow, just a wonderful rarity and sometimes their lips are pure white.
Another variation that was offered in these early years was, I think a really beautiful doll, the side swirl. I'm going to take her out of here so I can show her to you just a little bit better. So you can see the back of her hair and how absolutely perfect it is. And she was known as a side swirl ponytail. And in this case, she is so pristine. She has never been played with. No one has ever touched her hair, has the original ties in it. Very, very beautiful condition. And she's in her original box with her little booklets and her shoes and even has, still retains her original little wrist tag. Side swirl ponytail Barbie. And then I wanted to show you Color Magic Barbie. Well, first of all, let me show it to you that this is how Color Magic Barbie, again, trying different techniques, but still with the original Barbie face, and a different vibrant costume, and methodology to dye her hair various colors. So when you find them in that original box, you're pretty thrilled because that means that no one has done any with it. But here's one that is not in the original box, but has retained, I wanted to show you this, so you, she's kind of hard to see with the box reflection. But now you can see how she actually was. This is, to me, one of the most beautiful faces of all. The painting of the lips is just stunning. It really is. And when you can find the hair in this original color, let me turn it around completely for you. There's so many different variations of Barbies to find, always recognizing that in this time period, we are still working with the original face. In the middle of all of these wonderful Barbies, I did want to introduce you to Ken, because once in a while, Ken comes along that is such a rare variation, and here we have one. It's Ken, and he has the flocked hair, the earliest version of Ken, with the flocked hair as opposed to simply being painted. But what I want you to notice about this Ken is it is a very rare chestnut brown color. Very, very few examples of this Ken are known to exist. So a great possibility for one you might want to have. And he's in his original box with his additional slippers and his booklet and his stand. And I'm just turning the box around so you can see that as well. Now from this early period of Barbie, one of the ones that's really most beloved by collectors is the model known as the American Girl with the bobbed, very full bobbed hair. And we have some very beautiful um, selections in this collection that I wanted to show you. Where my hand is right now, you're seeing two examples of the American Girl brunette, very beautiful dark color hair. But please notice, because one of them has the classic shorter hair, and the other has the rare, longer hairstyle of the, of the bobbed hair American girl. So very rare to find. And then here is an example of the American girl in her original box. And why I want to show it to you is that she still has her original foil around her hair. She has her little shoes in her box, wearing her original swimsuit, beautiful facial coloring. But what's more important is to point out the box because now we have Barbie moving into the world of having lifelike bendable legs, a twist and turn waist, all sorts of wonderful, let me scratch that, blah, 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 blah. Here we have the Barbie having this wonderful um, different movement she has with the bendable legs. So Mattel starting to experiment into making dolls that would have more movements and the little click in the knees. And it's, I'm so thrilled with this collection we're selling because they all still have wonderful bendable movements in their legs and this is so rare and choice to find. And then one example, and one of the more beautiful dolls in a very rare, rare costume is a Titian haired um, American Girl Barbie in this superb original costume.
At this point, the Mattel company began to experiment into different um, styles of dolls and different things that dolls could do. This was very, very similar um, to the dolls that were being um, that were being pr produced in France 100 years before, where they wanted to make the body articulate in certain ways. They wanted to try out different styling with different hair, with different ways of applying the wigs, may even with variations of wigs. So this was a period beginning around 19, 1963 or four that Barbie really began to experiment. And the first thing we have is what they advertised as New Barbie. And this is eight years after Barbie first came out, she appeared with a new facial model. She also appeared with all sorts of possibilities of what she could do. The box it itself says it all. Bendable legs, twist and turn waist, pose her any way you want. Very, very wonderful to have. And this is a great example of one that is in her original box, still has the foil over her hair, original wrist tag, original swim, swimsuit, uh, the stand, the booklet, everything going for her. A beautiful new, new Barbie with twist and turn waist. Now Barbie, this particular Barbie came in different variations of hair color. And here we have a very rare model known as chocolate bonbon because that dark hair is such a rare, rare color to find on this model. So collectors seek this very, very avidly. I have three others in their original boxes I wanted to just point out to you because they tell you with a lot of the, a lot of the variation that Mattel was doing at this time. We have Talking Barbie, who has, in addition to talking, which very, very seldom do you ever find them still talking, and it's really pretty dangerous to pull on those little talking strings because you don't want to lose them. So if they have something to say, we don't really know. Um, but this one has, it says, you'll never know what she'll say next. Bendable legs, real eyelashes. Um, and it's just a very, very rare and wonderful doll in her original box. And then we have, again, another example in its original box. And this is new Barbie, like the other one I showed you, but uh, with a variation swimsuit, twist and turn waist, pose her any way you want, bendable legs, a very, very... Um, rare one to find also. And then other variations that they were doing with the new facial model is hair happenings. Now they had done um, different variations with wigs in the earlier Barbies and some are included in this collection, the Fashion Queen, where different wigs could be put on the dolls. But they, after even with the new body and the new facial model, they decided to continue that and they came out with this great variation called Hair Happenings see all the very the information on the back, real lashes, twist and turn waist, pose and stand and seat too, bendable legs. They were really trying to have the, promote the idea of the child having interaction with a doll. And why did you want interaction with a doll? Because if a child is playing with a doll, they're buying costumes. And that's what it was all about. The designer costumes, these wonderful costumes that were being created for Barbies, dozens of them each year, very similar again to the French fashion market a hundred years earlier. The doll was really never the thing. It was always about the community, the buying costumes, accessories, furniture, all of these type of things, forming book clubs, or rather doll clubs, and publishing journals, um, in, anything in which the children could interact and share and thus buy more costumes. We have, I just wanted to show you two costumes that I think are, I, I just like them from, there are so many of the costume dolls in this auction with just superb costumes. And here are two with the, um, with the remodeled Barbie face, eight years after she first came out with their original um, wigs and wonderful uh, fantasy costumes, perfect condition. And then finally, as all good things must sometimes come to an end, Barbie needed to economize. And in so economizing, she came back later as her simple Barbie, simple straight leg Barbie. But she could be offered in a more economical way. 
there were not many of these made because everyone was into all of the other versions. But when you find them like this, sealed in their original package, wow, that is really a treasure to behold. Not only did the Mattel company introduce lots of uh, different variations in body styles and things that Barbie could be doing, but also introduced different friends for Barbie. One of the most popular and sought after today is Francie. Very, very charming and sweet face on this doll with, came with wonderful costumes. And here we're seeing Francie in with her original hair, uh, original swimsuit, and in her original box, never been opened and just so wonderful to find. Now Francie also came in black versions and we have two uh, brown complexion Francies that are being presented as part of this collection. Um, one wearing its original swimsuit with the original wrist tag on it, in beautiful condition, and the other wearing an absolutely superb costume. And I'm going to take her out and, so, and turn it around so you can see the costumes from all angles. I'm so frustrated that you can't all see all of the wonderful costumes that are in this auction. Probably every one of the 900 and 1600 series and then moving into the, the mod uh, formulas, just fabulous, probably over 300 costumes from the early years of Barbie being shown. And here's the costume from the back. Very, very beautiful. And with her brown suede cap and the fur trim on her coat. It's a wonderful doll. And then there was Julia. And Julia w appeared originally from Julia as the nurse Julia on the popular TV show. And this little shoe wants to come off, so I'm going to be really careful about that. But she also appeared in various costumes that were made exclusively for her. And we're showing here one of the rare costumes for her, which is called Burr Fur. And a great one. Now, look what you're seeing. Two different colors because the, the red version of it was a very, very rare variation um, with the original cap and all. Same costume, rare color variation. And collectors are always looking for something different like this. And let me put this down and show you the back of each of these costumes as well. It would be fun just to have a Barbie fashion show video sometime. And here's the red one. And let me turn it around, let you see the back. There's her little shoe wants to come off too. The original um, Pilgrim style shoes. And then we have another friend came along and this friend was Christy. And here's Christy with gorgeous, gorgeous hair oxidized to this beautiful, stunning red color and wearing a rare costume called Silver Polish. She has her original wrist tag on her as well. Original shoes. Let me turn her so you can see her all the way around. And look at that beautiful hair. Beautiful coloring of the lips as well. Real lashes. This is a gorgeous face. Sometimes, as I say, you can look at them and if you want to see their face up close, wow, this, she's a stunner. And then finally, we began talking about Stacy, and we're going to end up by showing you one of the other Stacy dolls in the auction. The red haired Stacy wearing this wonderful outfit, and her shoe is here, folks. Don't despair. That's why we're keeping them all in boxes so nothing will be lost. And there's that wonderful mod outfit, which is just absolutely great. So I want to encourage you all. To, um, you can go to our website and you can view all of the dolls and costumes that are in the auction. You can also come to this auction because to see things in real life and to examine them and to have the community of other collectors, it's exactly what the doll makers envisioned back in 1860 and in 1960. People would come together and have their community of talking about things that they loved and had a passion for. Thanks very much for joining me and I'll talk to you next time.